same pace on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a ride or die for my dreams on tap. I'm a fly real high, you ain't see me stack. No, it's not how you fall, it's how you get right back. This is Villain Saga Season 2, Episode 14. Let's dive right into it, see what's popping off. I'm so ready, man. Awesome, we go, we go straight into the opening. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, things gonna get hectic. Episode 14, freedom. Well, man, you should have took her and ran. Y'all ain't got time to be trying to reminisce if you're trying to escape. Oh, so they had a son. Oh, so that was their son. That was them in the opening, then. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, they kind of flash back kind of fast. Oh, wow. Y'all took too long, man. Snake is coming. Ooh, snake coming, son. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I knew Snake wasn't no joke, man. He he killed the horse in one freaking swing. Yeah, but this this dude is manic. You know, he's hungry. So much stuff is going on. He's manic, man. He's he's gone. Yeah, he's gone, man. He's gone. Right, because as of right now, she didn't go with him, so, you know, she's she's still fine. Oh, hey, Nar. Don't do nothing stupid, man. What are you doing? Oh, you can't. No, man. You got you to gotta let her go. Wow. It's crazy that Thorfinn is the one trying to talk sense. That's crazy. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Things are getting intense, man. Oh, 
Oh, shoot. Okay. So he ain't average. Well, because he, he's not exactly weak either, though, man. Oh, shoot. Well, like I said, he's hungry. He's injured. Wow. Well, we knew Snake was no joke. Oh, things are getting crazy, man. Sure, her her freedom is cool, but Aynar, you have got to get over this, man. You, you saying all that because you infatuated with this woman. Let's be 'Cause to be fair, technically you're still a slave. That's the only thing I said about it. Sure, slavery is wrong and everything, but the fact that he was a slave and he killed somebody. Him being sold as a slave isn't right, but him killing someone isn't right either. Yeah, that's why I said he, he his mind is gone, man. He's it just so happens he got he got bought by the wrong kind of uh, owner, man, and his owner was not a good owner, and it messed him up. Like I said, you know, I don't agree with slavery at all, of course, but I feel like people like Anar and Thorfinn, they got taken in by a good master that even offered them their freedom eventually, but her husband was taken in by the wrong kind of master, man. That's all it was. And he kind of went crazy in the process. You have got to calm down. Yeah, man, you can't, you can't be doing this, man. Yes, boy. Like I said, man, like I always say, if you watch any reactions of mine, the world is not black and white, it's gray.
That's got to be you. That's got to be like uh, somebody messed up with the subs, right? Because what's POTS? Unless that's a disease or something. POTS, POTS, POTS. Oh, shoot. That's a real thing. So they say it's coming against women ages 15 and 50. Oh, shoot, man. I guess it was it was a little different back in those times, too, though. Okay, yeah, so that was them in the opening. That's what I said. Somebody always wants something else, man. See, it's it's a cycle. I can tell this is already, it's, it's not going to go the, the way they want it to. Uh, Gramps is listening. It'll bring in money. Oh, well, that's true, too, though. Then they can come and just ravage our village or whatnot. So, yeah, we need to stand our own ground right now if we possibly can. seeing his demeanor and everything like in the past in this flashback to how he is now you can definitely tell he lost his mind over the course of being a slave and all the stuff that happened to him Don't tell me they village got raided. Oh, crap. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, that's what she mean by pies. She lost it because of iron. 
Okay, he didn't die. Like they just they just took her son from. Oh my gosh. Don't tell me it's that dude. It's uh, the one that um, that looks like Thorfinn did. I'm, maybe I'm just reaching, man. The one that's with Leif. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just reaching, though. Because I love to kind of come full circle. What child? She has a child with the master. She's pregnant now. Maybe, maybe that'll smack some sense into Aenar. Wow. So as much as she would love to have her husband back and stuff, yada, 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 she has a child she has to think about now to protect. But you know what, man? I don't care what nobody said, man. Women are strong, man. Women are strong. A man would have acted on impulse a long time ago. Women are strong and can endure the most, man. I guess talking about this did kind of bring back some emotions, though. Oh, please don't do nothing stupid. <laughs> you wouldn't sleep. But, it, you know, like, yeah, the feelings are still there. And especially since she um kind of reminisced about it with the flashback and stuff. It's a good thing, though, man, because that's not the only problem y'all going to have to deal with this, this upcoming. There's so many more. So everybody has had to make a, a tough decision they didn't really agree with, but
man. Shoot. Don't tell me she took her own life. No! Well, like I said, somebody always want what someone else has. Someone else is, some, someone else has. I don't know, she got taken or she was killed. Oh, come on, man. That's a powerful metaphor right there. Come on, man. Boy, I tell you, man, this. Boy, Venice, it. It hits you in your heart a couple times, man. Shoot. I feel like she's only going so she doesn't have any uh, resentments because after Gramps told her the story, he has a lot of resentment, right? So she's only doing that so she doesn't have any resent resentment after the fact. I'm going to be 100%. Listening to this whole entire episode, this score has been phenomenal, if I'm just being honest. <laughs> this score has been perfect, man. That was Villain Saga Season 2, Episode 14. And I loved it. 100%, man. The whole aspect of Gardair, Gardair, however you want to say his name, and Arne Dasan. Uh, I loved their story. I loved their connection. And watching their flashback unfold, you can tell, like Snake said, he, he's gone, man. Like, his mind is just shattered at this point. And the only thing that was pushing him forward was his wife and his son. And after seeing that flashback, we also see why Arnade is so adamant about, even though he is her husband, she didn't really... She wanted to take his hand, but she decided not to take his hand at the same time, even though Snake told her not to. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we now know why she was so hesitant, and that is because she's pregnant from Keftel right now, and she doesn't want to lose this child as well. And just the whole horrendous part of it, man. Even Gramps' story about you know him uh, uh, sacrificing that girl for Kettle back when they were younger. Like, just, uh, uh, boy, I tell you, this episode, it just... It done something to me, man. Like, it, it, it was shocking. Like, even all the action that we got in the very beginning of the episode and the stuff leading up to this episode, like, I thought it was going to be a little bit more. We knew Snake was going to fight him, but it was so one-sided. The dude the dude had been hungry. He was starving. He was a little bit of manic. And, and he was already injured. So, like, there were so many factors at play that I should have figured the fight wouldn't have lasted long anyway. And it ended rather abruptly. But there was so much more to the story. We see Anar, he... Now, he says it's all because he just wants to help Arnade, but let's be 100%. That moment he found out that she was pregnant from Kettle, like, the look on his face changed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't a whole look of when he found out she had a husband. That shocked him a little bit, but it, th that wasn't too much. The fact that he found out she's pregnant from Kettle, that is what ruined his face. And, 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 and you can see that. And, and now it had me thinking that, well, now you said the entire time that you just only wanted her freedom. You didn't want to be with her. That wasn't the thing. But now it shows. You know what I'm saying? To be fair, cuz, you got to let this woman go, man. Okay? It sucks. Her predicament sucks. Your predicament sucks. Her husband's predicament sucks. A lot of predicaments out here sucking. Oh, I don't like the way I worded that. But anyway, I'm just saying, you have got to let her go, man. You can't keep dwelling on this woman because you almost sacrificed your own life 
for nothing. Because she wasn't going to be with you anyway, man. She has a child with Kettle on the way. She has a husband. And she's only going to care about her child at this point. But like I said, there's so much more stuff coming on the back end that they don't even know about. So this stuff that we're dealing with right now, that's pff, that's a fart in the wind right now. Like, we got so many more bigger fish to fry this incoming. And episode was great, though. The score was phenomenal. And I said that in my reaction. I, I was just blown away with this score man i was so entranced and engrossed in what was going on like it was just it was fantastic and i cannot wait for episode 15 it's really incredible don't forget to smash the like button so you can't smash any more comment down below and i'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe and remember that anime matters anime is greatness and anime is life peace out today, yeah, i cannot complain because today yeah, i'm doing